Hello, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we are going to be designing this caster assembly. And this is actually one of the first part I designed when I was trying to learn SOLIDWORKS in school. When I did this years, many years ago when I was in school. And I feel I was looking through my portfolio and I feel all the parts I have in my portfolio that I designed is actually a good exercise to help anyone learn how to design in SOLIDWORKS. So, I'm going to be doing something different instead of making a full video and compiling all this part into one video. We're actually going to make separate video for each part and the last video will be combining everything in the assembly. It's just something new I'm trying. Let me know if it works. So, and if not, I will go back to compiling all those video for each part into one video. Um, so let's start and we're going to start with this axle support. So let me minimize this. So I start a new part file in inch and click on the front plane and sketch. And we're going to start a sketch on the front plane. Um, let's draw a circle somewhere over here. And let's draw a line going up. And draw another line somewhere over here. Click this line and this end point and make it a midpoint constraint and click this line and make it a construction line and draw a line coming down and a line something like that and we're going to do the same thing for this side and something like that and make sure this point and that point is um, this point and this point is horizontal and this line and this circle is tangent and this line and this circle is tangent and make this line let's select the line the center line and this line and add a symmetric relation and this line the center line and this line and add a symmetric and now we can trim off this part once we have that shape we can add some dimensions here is going to be 0.38 and the dimension um, for from here to here is going to be to the center line is going to be 1.88 and the dimension for this the radius is 0.75 and um, the dimension up here will be 3.25 we have a fully defined sketch and we are going to extrude feature extrude um, in the opposite direction and it's going to be um, 0.38 and click OK So now we are going to select this face and sketch and um, number two and draw at the center point just draw a circle so starting at that origin point draw a circle and you can uh, click that circle and click this edge and make it co radial so that way it's the same and now we can go feature extrude in the opposite direction and it's going to be 0.5 and click OK So now we'll click on this top face, um, sketch, number two, and we are going to add a corner rectangle. So let's click on the drop down, the corner rectangle starting from this corner and something over here. Make sure this corner and that corner is coincident and the dimension from here to here is going to be 1.5. And our sketch is fully defined. Uh, let's add a radius over here and here. And our radius will be 0.5. And click OK. We have a fully defined sketch. And we are just going to go to Feature, Extrude. Um, we're extruding it down. And it's going to be 0.38. And click OK. So next, we are going to. Uh, click this face, um, sketch, number two, and add a circle, and add your dimension, which is um, 0.875, and feature, extrude cut, and it is going to be true all, or up to next, anyone will work, and click OK. Good.
so the next thing we want to do is we can add our chamfer there so the chamfer is 0 0.06 um, so you can fill it chamfer uh, select that edge and that is going to be 0 0.06 and click OK and the next thing we want to do now is um, select the whole wizard and we want a counter ball and and I'm going to um, so you want a counter ball so again come to the position select two and I, let me just go normal two so we see what's going on that's normal two so I'm going to select a point over here and add a point over there press escape and now you can click that point and click this edge uh, let me select escape again so I'm select that point and that edge and let me try that again holding the control key select this point and this edge and you should get the relations and you want to make it concentric and do the same thing over here and you want to make it concentric click OK then come back to the type and you want it to be 0.444 in here 0.12 um, so this is going to be uh, 0.75 so we have the counter ball over here. So the long, the bigger hole is 0.75, and the diameter, how the ball through for it is going to be 0 0.06. So all that information is right here. So 0 0.44, 0 0.75, and 0 0.06, and you want to have it up to next. So on the down here, end condition up to next and click OK good so now what we want to do is add our fillet so come to fillet and the fillet size is 0.12 I'm changing my fillet size and you want to add one to this edge and this back edge right here and right there and here and here and you want to also add one over here the fillet won't let you add everything at once so just add those ones for now and click ok and and now we are going to come back and come to fillet and the fillet size is still 0.12 and we're going to add it down here and on this edge something like that and click ok so make sure you we are done with this part so what you can do is create a folder somewhere call the folder caster assembly um so let me see if i have that information yeah caster assembly right here and so just save this part in that folder as axle support so i already have a folder that i created because i worked on this before so um make sure you save this and anyway thank you and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.